How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels, and welcome to the season finale of Heaven Official's Blessing. There are so many shows, both in my life and on this channel, that I've just, like, dropped halfway through and never finished, and it's so interesting to me that this isn't going to be one of them. It's so funny to me that out of all of the shows I've started, Heaven Official's Blessing is one of the rare few that I will be caught up with. I run an anime podcast called Otaku's Anonymous with NC Hammer 23, subtle plug, and on it my co-host is constantly bringing up shows like Bleach, Boruto, you know, like huge shows currently running in the anime sphere. I haven't watched a single episode of either of them. I'm like leagues behind in One Piece. I've never even attempted Hunter Hunter. But you come to me with an anime about two boys trying not to hold hands? That's all me, baby. You know, that's all me. My anime expertise is so non-existent, except for when it comes to ambiguously gay ones. So let's finally finish up this saga and see if our two boys can continue to resist holding hands or, you know, whatever. But first, we gotta talk about today's sponsor, Web Novel. And more specifically, the web novel, The Three-Body Problem. You know what's crazy? I've actually read The Three-Body Problem. Like, the novel version. The Three-Body Problem is genuinely the most clever and well-written science fiction literature I have ever read. Uh, unfortunately, it's also dense as hell. The prose is also incredibly dry, uh, so, so it's a tough recommendation. Which is why it's great that there's an easier to digest visual version of that story available to read on web novel. In the story, the Chinese military makes contact with an alien civilization that's on the brink of destruction. The aliens capture the signal that Earth is transmitting to them and plan to invade. Meanwhile, on Earth, different camps start forming, with some planning to welcome the superior beings and help them take Take over a world they see as corrupt, and others planning to fight off the invasion. And what's so cool about this story is that even though it's set against the backdrop of an alien invasion, it's really about humanity and how we respond as a species to crises. All you need to do to check out this story is to download Web Novel through the link in my description below and look up the three body problem. Uh, by the way, for you Heaven Officials Blessing fans out there, of which I'm assuming are all of you considering the video you're watching right now. Heaven Official's Blessing is also available to read on Web Novel. Thank you so much to Web Novel for sponsoring this video and make sure you check out their app to see their vast collection of graphic novels. And now, on with the show. Oh my god, I totally forgot this guy stuffed a cork in Shaylian. Why did he use like Bram Stoker logic to try and kill him? Like, at first I saw this, and I was like, oh, weird, that didn't kill him. And then I was like, oh yeah, he's not a fucking vampire. We're done. Close it. Also, never leave somebody's corpse inside of a cave. Alright, that's how you end up with a messiah. As far as my religious studies go, caves have a 100% success rate of bringing people back from the dead. That was... neat. I have no idea what it was, but it was definitely neat. Every theory I have about what's going on right now gets instantly disproven the second it enters my head. At first I thought it was a manifestation of his anger, but he's not that angry of a guy. And then I was like, oh, maybe it's Sanlong lending him some of his power. But this is like way before they met. Three lives, centuries of peace. <laughs> That's some deal. Trust me, you did good. Superman does good, San Long. Shaylian did well. I mean, that's just proper gra- You know what? I see you're doing a thing. I'm just gonna- I'll just leave you be. Good people shouldn't meet with such an end. Doing the right thing should open endless paths. It's what I wanted Shin Cho to believe, even if it was a lie. I get that he's feeling sad because his pupil is becoming disillusioned with the world, which is very poignant. But- but that guy deserved to get souped. If this were an RPG, that choice would have been tied to getting the good ending. Like, that man belongs inside of a soup. Oh. Anna, do you have any idea what you've done? Sister, you're the preceptor! He's the what? Shaylien's the preceptor? 
What? But they look nothing alike! Seriously though, this guy should be embarrassed. How do you have a full conversation with the Perceptor and not realize it's Shalien? The mask hardly covers his face. He didn't even hide himself that well. What, does everybody have cheekbone blindness? You hid yourself so well! I never once suspected you! Fuck you! But after all this, I wonder how he'll change. Will he calm down after finding Chirong? Or will he still want to fight? Guys, I'm so sorry. I know I'm being so annoying, but I'm having so much trouble keeping up with all the goddamn names in this show. I'm pretty sure I understand Chirong is the dude who got souped. Chuncho is the Shun Lun's pupil, right? I don't even think I said any of those names correctly now that I'm like thinking about what I just said. It's like not even because it's a bunch of Chinese names. It's just because it's a bunch of names. Like this show is like 90% exposition. And to be fair, I am like 80% clear about what's going on. But if I could just, like, real quick watch a brief recap of, of, like, explaining to me what's been going on narratively, I think that would really help me, so give me a second. Heaven Officials Blessing Season 2 Spark Notes Edition Recap. Okay, perfect. Okay, first of all, I have a nickname in my head. I don't even like this man that much, okay, but... Okay. In my head, I call him Daddy Wu. Am I the only one who calls him this? Because look at him. Okay, come on! Bitch, who is this helping? Recap the plot, not your arousal. This is, this is a fucking review. This isn't a recap. Imagine if you went on to sparknotes.com looking for a Macbeth summary and it was just like, fellas, am I the only one who calls her a lady Macbitch? I do feel slightly vindicated though because one of the chapters in this video is titled So Many Characters. So at least I'm not the only one who feels like they're absolutely drowning in names in this season. Thanks sincerely, Liz. You've been absolutely no help. Everyone, everyone go check out her channel, I guess. <laughs> Let her know Danny sent you. Obviously, only if you're going to be nice. Her, in all seriousness, it seems like a very funny <laughs> video. It just doesn't seem like a recap. Dude, the drummer on this soundtrack needs to settle down. I've never heard somebody bust out a drum solo in the middle of a scene like that. That was crazy. Oh, we're almost there, yes. sir. After you. That's all of them. We swear, sir. Free them. <laughs> right away. What, did you threaten to blow out their little candles? At least tell them they don't need to wear candles anymore. You're making fun of them for it like three episodes ago. Then Long Chen Cho names you Feng Xin. You'd never work with Chi Rong, so I look deeper. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is not helping me keep up with everybody's names. But coming from you, it's all just nonsense. Uh, nonsense? <laughs> That's presuming a lot. No, it's nonsense, Shalian. You couldn't usurp a bread bowl. Alright, you're about as threatening and aggressive as a dryer sheet. What were you gonna do, Shalian? Tee hee your way into being emperor? It feels like I've known you for a long time. Almost as far back as my first ascension. No, even before that. Oh my god, wait, was I right? Did Sanlong give Shalien some of his power to get him out of the cave? Do I know you? This is so perfectly melodramatic. I love the Sanlong. Be honest. Do I know you? And then boom, hurricane! There are so many practical benefits to a female form. Even your luck will improve. And it's fun. I mean, how else do you think I rolled the right number this time? I like how Windmaster is always trying to pitch vaginas to people. Which is funny considering Windmaster is almost always in their male form. So it's not even like they like being a woman. They just like seeing other gods be women. Windmaster. Huh? Well, looky here. Uh, uh, watch him? What's he doing here? What do you mean, what's he doing here? Who, who do you think you're rescuing Shaylien from? You're here to rescue Shaylien from Sanlong. You should have at least expected Sanlong to be here. You're overreacting. I'm fine. <clears throat> what was that? Cool, I'm glad Shaylien also didn't know how to read that signal. When Master's just over here like, <laughs> You should turn into a woman. <laughs> Enough pretending. Sanlong was rescuing me from house arrest. Nothing more. Hey, but like, that's still illegal. He wasn't rescuing you from house arrest, he was breaking you out of it. 
This is not a good defense. You should have stuck with the kidnapping story, dude. You can't get in trouble for being kidnapped. Have you not been paying attention at all? Put your weapon away. Uh, keep those things away from me. Is that why you won't There's no time for games. Oh my god, I forgot this dude was literally afraid of women. You know Windmaster was a dude when you started this quest, right? What are the boobs what you're afraid of? Is it because they have the word boo in them? Never do anything like that again. You hear me? Never again. Oh, really? So don't do this. Stay back. That's close enough. Hey, could you guys do this weirdly erotic song and dance somewhere else? You're either making everybody uncomfortable or turning everybody on. Both scenarios end with me being uncomfortable. How do you know Chirong? He's my cousin. Uh, impressive! <laughs> is it? It's just like never the response I've ever had to finding out someone is related to another person. Impressive? That's not how I describe him. Not him. I was commenting on how awesome you are. Is he? I feel like it doesn't take a lot of skill or talent to be related to somebody. It's just kind of a thing that happens. And then there's the amazing Windmaster. They're your best friend. <laughs> he really lives up to his <laughs> reputation. Windmaster just stated their pronouns, and you're already hitting them with a hard he him. You return. I'll finish here. <laughs> I don't think that's wise. The heavens aren't that efficient. Oh shit, he almost said the title! I'd love for this season to end with San Long being like, We have a long road ahead of us. If we ever plan to defeat the Ghost King, we're going to need a blessing. A Heaven Official's Blessing. Wait, Sunlun, what are you doing? I don't know, probably kidnapping you again. It's like his favorite sport. It's like he's trying out for D1, snatching your ass. Three, two, one. Yo, what is this? Can we all please stop pretending that Sanlong isn't evil? The dude just summoned Blood Rain. We can't just all act like the weather's being weird today. Well, this came out of nowhere. It's fucking Sanlong! Why did you just stand there? You're soaked. I have no idea how you're going to wash this out. <sighs> this was not a silly, goofy prank. This was some evil demon shit, guys. It might have been for the best. You're overthinking. <laughs> Just focus on doing what you want to do. Why are we all treating Sanlong like he's Nanny McPhee? As if he didn't just make it rain in blood. Ah, oh, that's Sanlong. Here when you need him, gone when you don't. But, but blood, blood rain when he feels like it. You know, in a way, he's a lot like my Patreon. Minus the blood rain. My Patreon is always there when you need it and gone when you don't. Except you always need it. So please subscribe. There you'll get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content, including reaction videos to Food Wars, Blue Lock, Hell's Paradise, and, oh, what was the one I just watched? Interspecies Reviewers. Tons and tons and tons of exclusive bonus reaction content all on my Patreon. It helps support the channel a ton and ensures that I'm able to keep putting out as much content as I do. On top of that, all of the live streams I've recorded in the past and will record in the future are up there as well. Finally, you also get access to my private Discord server, so if you want all of these amazing bonus goodies and to help support the channel, please consider checking out the Patreon. Link to it will be in the description below, along with my aforementioned podcast that I brought up in the beginning of the video. Check it out. On with the next one. You sure you're unlucky? Snagging a friend like him, that is a rare feat. It is? Really? Shalien is too much of a fucking bimbo. Oh, is the demon god king of the underworld not friends with everybody? Sunlong has a legendary sword of evil and you had him wanting to munch on your buns two episodes into this season. Take credit for something, you submissive whore! It's funny. These kinds of meetings used to be rare. You tell me this isn't what heaven has always been like? These guys love holding meetings. I've caused you trouble yet again. I wouldn't count this as trouble. I mean, he did break out of house arrest, aid in a murder, and burn down a casino. He's definitely caused trouble. He's definitely committed crimes. And that's what happened, your majesty. <sighs> Shemla, you spent so much effort to build a lie. 
only to watch it crumble. It's funny how this show spent its whole first season building up how dainty and pacifistic Shaylian is, only for this season to be like, oh, also, he's Batman. If hell didn't have one already, again and again, secrets fall from heaven into Hua Chung's lap. Is the spy not Shay Lien? Is it not clearly Shay Lien? This guy should at least suspect that it's Shay Lien, right? The, the one guy in all of heaven constantly hanging out with Hua Chong, constantly trying to get a good whiff of his hair. Do you know which court is compromised? I don't. All heaven is suspect, except you. How is Shay Lien not the primary suspect? What? Did nobody tell this guy about the time Shay Lien and San Long stared into each other's eyes for 40 unbroken minutes while San Long transferred dice magic into Shay Lien's hands? Am I, am I missing something? Am I like way the fuck behind the plot right now? He could have upended everything long ago, but he never has. Why would that change? He was here and did no real harm. Super weird that you're defending the man I just spent 10 minutes explaining to you was evil. But I'm going to overlook this because you're the only god of ribbons we have left. And without you, our cheerleading squad is a fucking disaster. And Le, your master, and the good people of Shen Le, we all had our parts. It sounded like he was about to break into a musical number. Me, An Le, your master, and all the people of Shen Le. We played a part to tear apart all we could. Was it a heaven official's blessing or a hell official's curse that caused you this distress and made your life so much worse? Again! Watch your stance. Attack! Dude, these kids need to calm down. No swing is that goddamn fun. This is like the coolest shit these kids have ever seen. They're acting like they're watching a stand-up special right now. This, this, is like, this is like Jerry Seinfeld to them. Their mom's gonna walk over and be like, what's, what, what's with all the laughing, kids? You watching the new John Mulaney special? And the kid's gonna be like, nah, bitch. I'm going up. I'm going down. And when that shit's over, I'm running it back! Oh, hey, knock next time, asshole. These poor chipmunks are over here just trying to suck some nut, and you come blasting into their room like an overly religious mother. I found Shiro. He's a ghost now. Can't imagine what he's been through. But now all he does is cause others pain. I do like seeing Shay Lien all broken up about the fact that his cousin turned into, like, a murderous demon. It's cool that it is affecting him. I just wish it wasn't all happening retroactively. Like, one episode we're getting introduced to Chirong, and then literally the next episode, the man's soup. Would've been cool to see Shay Lien and Chirong's relationship, like, develop, or to have seen what it was like via flashbacks, you know? But, like, leading up to Chirong soupage. What's that sound? Mother, is that you? Are you sure you didn't accidentally bury a dog or something? That doesn't sound like a human. Where is she? Where is my mother? Answer me. What have you done with my mother's body? Oh shit, Shaylian's about to fucking throttle this kid. This dude's gone full two seasons without hurting a single person. All of a sudden, this kid shows up and he's like, That's it! Shaylian ain't gonna be so Shaylian anymore! Man, shit's really just happening right now, isn't it? <laughs> is, is this Shaylian's mother? What's, like, what's going on? <laughs> oh my god, I hope not! Dude, just smack the shit out of her! I'm starting to realize that Shaylian's just one bad day away from slapping somebody to death. Chirong, get out of him! Stop it! <laughs> Hello, cousin! Surprised to see me! <laughs> I like how anyone Chirong possesses has to have green winged eyeliner. Does it happen immediately once he possesses them? Or does he possess them and then have to run to the nearest cosmetic store and get his look all made? You think anyone wants you mourning at their feet? Oh, oh. oh yes. Good. Ugh, stop liking it. Chirong, stop. Leave this man's body. If you don't, 
I will take your tongue and do it myself! <laughs> hey, maybe stop breaking this man's body. Like, I know Chirong's the one possessing him, but you're the one breaking all of this guy's ribs in front of his very young, very loud daughter. Don't you want to kill me? I'm waiting. <laughs> do it! I'll just keep coming back again and again! <laughs> I do love how this show finally has a reoccurring antagonist. This is exactly what I was asking for, and I'm very happy with the execution. This guy's great. This guy's so much fun in an otherwise, like, pretty funless show. Funless character-wise. It's like, I, this show needed a psychopath, you know? I won't forget! I will never forget you! Dude, the music just kicked into fifth gear. What is this? The music just got so sick out of nowhere. Once the vocals kicked in, that was dope. Celia, this time I want to walk by your side until the end. I, I kind of dig the ending. I like where it leaves this show. Here's the thing about me and this show. This is like one of the slowest shows I've ever ever seen in my life. It feels like I'm thinking about what happened this season and I'm like astounded by how little actually did. But I like where this ending sets up the rest of the series because it's like it leaves Shaylien disillusioned. It sets up, I don't, like, I have no idea what this show's attitude towards San Long is. I really don't. Because he's so blatantly evil. Like, he's so clearly evil but it's taking so long for that to, like, have an impact on anything. I like that the, like, God Emperor dude is, like, looking for a spy. That's kind of neat. And I like that Chirong is, like, established as a main antagonist. And I like that Shaylien's dis uh, disillusioned with his pupil. And I like that the pupil doesn't really get a resolution. He's, like, hunting Chirong. So it sets up a lot of really cool stuff, but in that, it really feels like this is kind of like, not a filler season, but it's definitely a setup season, you know? This is like the Across the Spider-Verse of the Spider-Verse trilogy. I think I feel equally now as I did to season one of this show, which is pretty neutrally. The animation is good, um, and I like watching it with you guys, but I would never watch this show on my own. It's just really hard to follow because it's all exposition. It's incredibly slow. The plot moves really slowly. And, and like, so does the romance because China's so censored. So it's so much blue balling. But yeah, those are my thoughts on season two of Heaven Official's Blessing. I am happy to have it under my belt. It's cool to finally fucking check a, check a show off the list. Seems rare I ever do that. And as always, let me know in the comments what you thought of this season down below, and I will see you guys next time.